but JP and I, well, we can't talk to each other because on day two, Alan decided to go absolutely nuts calling out JP and I would be some kind of power couple. So now if Alan sees anything between me and JP, he's going to point it out and he's going to blow it up. So I'm ready for him to go because I don't know when he's going to go off again. I don't know if that was part of some master plan that he had, but either way, I definitely don't like it. And Ashley is tossed into a power couple. Now, whether or not that's the truth, that's the whole Alan thing, but I can't fully trust Ashley at this point. So Alan's plan has worked. They now can't really talk to each other because Alan is watching them like a stalker. That said, while other people can't really trust what they say, especially when, if they ever defend the other person, he now has a target on his back from those two, so the way Alan went about it was dumb, in my opinion. Thanks for cooking, guys. My pleasure. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty good. A lot of things raw. That one's completely raw. See the color? I, I just don't think we can be picky. I mean, it's not being picky, it's completely raw. I'll eat it, I don't care. There's my favorite moron. At it again, Joe, the probation officer. He didn't need to be a cunt. Let's just say Joe's correct. The probation officer is correct. It's raw, blah, blah, blah. He didn't need to be a cunt about it by throwing away potato, like, go fetch. Now, yes, people when they're starving can get moody. 100% true. So, you know, like, we all act differently when we're really angry versus really happy versus just being normal versus versus being sad, so on and so forth. So you're starving, you know, all this stuff. You're sleeping probably not well. People aren't as likely going to be all chippy. So, okay, there is that to take in consideration. But still, people who are dicks in the real world are going to be more of a dick on the show. People who are nice in the real world, real world are going to be not as nice on the show. So, generally speaking, that's how it worked out. But anyways, the way he went about it was completely dumb because he's just, well, you know, alienating people with his horrible sh social game. You know, sure, he could have said at the time, oh, this is raw, this is how you cook potatoes, but some people can be offended by that when you tell them something, especially how you, you say it, like, this is raw, you fucking idiot, versus, oh, hey, this... This is how you cook a potato, you know, so we can be offended by it. Even if right then he said, well, next time I'm going to cook, someone who made people or peoples, whatever, who made the meal, the person or people who made the meal could be like, oh, I'm offended by that. So, you know, you can just wait till the next day, hours before the meal's to be made. You're like, you know, I like to make dinner. Anyone got a problem with that type of thing, you know? And then, you know, people who made the previous meal, unless they're like, I'm always going to be making the meal. You know, they shouldn't be offended by that. You know, it's how you go about doing things, but you can still get the same results. Or you can get results going about a different way. You know, blah, blah, blah. Like, could you please get me a sandwich? Could you please make me a sandwich? Make me a fucking sandwich. Then there's just, make me a fucking sandwich. Please is better than just saying it. And then you add swears or attitude or whatever else shit. So that's what the fuck I'm trying to say is better ways he could have went about it. But there goes that probation officer who isn't going to win the game. She's looking out for my best interest and I'm looking out for hers as well. No, I don't want your name to be next or my name to be next. But Allie telling me to cool it is difficult because it takes away from my personality. I may not be able to create relationships if I'm not being me. Don't dwell on it, it's over. Can't change the past. Look toward the future. You learn though, learn from it. Taken away from your personality? Correct. But you do not have a winning personality. That's why she's telling you to cool it. It is worth the last healer! <laughs> Some people are comfortable with their bodies, some people aren't. Some people are nudist, some people 
are really conservative bodies never show anything off. That really made sense. Just like you can be a comfortable body but not a nudist to you let everything show. What the fuck was I was trying to say how there's variance between you can be a comfortable body but doesn't mean you wanna be naked and stuff like that. You know the old days of swimming clothes, like women had these long black things where they wore outfits like it was in the fifties and stuff like that. I think maybe up to the seventies as well. You know, too much skin, you can't show too much skin. Eventually bikinis became a thing to then well I'll just be in your underwear, it's the same thing, right? Blah blah blah. So survivor. While you can be comfortable with your body, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Why do it on Survivor? Why wear skimpy, barely wear anything, guys do it too, wear anything at all. Now, for a nudist, you know, they can, like Richard Hatch did it, but, you know, run around naked, you don't care that your bits are showing. TV blurs it out, but you don't care, right? But for Survivor, you know, people who are wearing skimpy clothing, you know, guys do sometimes get their stuff blurred out, shorts falling down the snap, but generally speaking, it's around women that stuff's getting blurred out. Um, sometimes when they blur out a woman's, uh, I guess, on her knees, hands and knees crawling or something, that the back's blurred out, but it's not the butt area. I wonder, hmm, is it just shown too much or did something get out of place? Nonetheless, you know, if you wore more clothing, you would have to worry about that because it's like, okay, these people who are comfortable showing their bodies off, which is fine, but then it's when stuff gets misplaced, you know, it gets blurred, and then you always see them as they're running, trying to put stuff back in place. But it's like, well, obviously you're like 90% comfortable showing your body off, but you're not 100% comfortable showing your body off like a nudist would be. So it's like, Therefore, my question is, okay, well, you're on Survivor. It's different to be on a beach and be on Survivor where you're running around doing all sorts of stuff, activities, where stuff's going to get out of place. And if you watch seasons in the past of Survivor, there's always people, stuff being blurred out because there's cameras everywhere. So to avoid stuff, because if something pops out of place, you should be like, eh, whatever, just leave it as, you don't care, right? Yeah. We'll fix it later type of thing you know but obviously you're self-conscious enough you don't want certain parts showing so to prevent that wear clothing you know but I mean you don't want to wear heavy clothing especially because you do water stuff they'll just weigh you down but fuck I'm saying you can wear stuff that's just not so like that applies for guys too shorts that don't stay up but whatever so it's like hmm now in that episode there was a lot of hands going in different places, especially the one woman. It's like, you know, the one woman who's got clothes and shorts on or whatever, like more clothing on. They didn't show any clips of her being not molested, but you know. Whereas the other one, that's like, you know, hands are everywhere, and then you're you're holding her up. Unless you're gonna look down, you look right up and you can see stuff like a pervert's wet dream type of thing. Just be wearing a skirt and there you go, right? adds more excitement to the pervert. So, I mean, I don't know. It's just, this is a thought I had, like, more stuff's getting out of place. And, oh, because the one woman, she had her ass grabbed. Goes, ah! Makes a little sound. <laughs> she kind of thought it was funny. And then trying to stand up. One guy he had his hand, and it was, like, going up. And almost, like, going to, like, she's trying to, but it looks like it's gonna like go to the crotch goes off to the side so I don't I assume they're not trying to be pervy it's just because you're in a competition and you're in a rush so you just grab this grab that here there you go you don't care where you touch right but whatever well you're trying to comfort me when I've never believed a redhead in a day in my life and Jeff I will say, tonight, one of us is going to be blindsided. I can say that. You're right. Somebody will be blindsided. Lauren. One vote Patrick, one vote Lauren. Patrick. That's two votes, Patrick. One vote Lauren. 
Third person voted out a survivor. Patrick, that's three, that's enough. You need to bring me a torch. You guys are awful. Yeah, this is the worst thing I've ever felt. I had no idea it was coming. I had total trust with Ryan, Devin, and Allie. I hope you guys don't have a very successful game because you're liars, and uh, it really hurts me that you would not keep your word. It's too early in the game for me to leave, and this has been devastating. It's been devastating to watch your ass. Thank God you're gone. First, he's like, when the woman's like, one of us can get blindsided. He's like, yeah, one of us can get blindsided. So, like, even if he's never watched Survivor before in his life, he should have been like, wait a minute. I mean, I could be blindsided. So he fucking knew this is what happens in the game. And he's like, oh, you didn't keep your word. Oh, they're all treacherous. They're all bad and all this stuff. I have a winning personality. And, you know, some people lack self-awareness. Some people have really good self-awareness. Some people have, eh, okay, self-awareness. He's oblivious to his own behavior. So that's why his social game is horrible. Because he's oblivious to his what he's doing. It's stupid. And then, on top of that, being a sore loser, I hope none of you do well. Like, I can understand if someone screws you over, you know, and you feel, uh, you know, fuck you and all that stuff. Like, I get that, but still, at the end of the day, no matter how just you feel, like, you know, fuck you, I don't want you to win a million dollar prize. It still makes you a sore loser that they got you out. It's Survivor. It's not, let's all hold hands together. It's Survivor. Survival of the fittest. You slit each other's throats. It's like in the Hunger Games, where that one movie where you know a bunch of you know they work together there's one of them i think they've all been that way actually you know they all group up or some people group with this one this one and once everyone else is gone then they turn on each other and slay each other's throats well that's survivor for you without the death and all the, yeah without the death but pretty much and beasts i guess and other interesting stuff happens there but that's enough of me talking